faith in the king Israel united in Christ who we be Whatever our people be gathered, you know that we bringing this heat Scripture on scripture, we call that a precept We making it plain for our people to see See, see, what's all on your internet Not just your internet on your TV Radio stations compelling our nation To wake up and change and come out of sleep Sleep, sleep, sleep in America We are not scared of ya, we are prepared for ya Puppets are back with avengers He saw you gon' get it, you know what you did to us 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 Israel, punch it, sing! Israel, son of God! Who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? Shalom, shalom. So the United Thon is reunited in Christ. You mentioned you had a question about the beard and the dreads and stuff like that. Okay, well the most high is telling you that you must keep your beard. That's right. Let's get that law. Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 1. They shall not, they shall not make baldness upon their head. Alright, so our people should not make baldness upon our head, meaning you're not supposed to cut your head clean bald. Go ahead. Now that's how they shave off the corner of their beard. You're not supposed to shave the corners of your beard as well. These are all part of the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High God gave to the children of Israel. That's right. Can I ask a question? So the corners of your beard, so that many parts that shape up, you say the angles and all that type of stuff, right? You're not supposed to destroy that natural line that you have. That's right. You got say what you have No, no, no. Mine is right there on the natural line. Right. Where it goes up here. That's why it comes up here. That's why it comes down here. You shaved your beard. Yeah, See what I'm saying? I had to. You had to for what? I told you when I was in the program, you had to, you had to shave all that. So if you keep the muscles, you had to shave your beard. You have to shave your beard, you still doing that now? No, I ain't in the program. Okay, so that means back. you're supposed to be growing your beard yeah, now. Yeah, that's why it's growing back now. Even now it's long. Well, oh, praise for that thing. You know why we bring the law, statutes, and commandments to our people? Because the Most High God has a problem. Most High has a problem with the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans out here today. What we sit here today is what? What, what holiday is this? Sis. Sis. Read the fly. Excuse me. What day is today, according to the heat? Halloween. You going to celebrate that day? Some trick or treaters going to be knocking on your door? Yeah, no, I'll be at work. <laughs> okay. But well, this is what our people are doing now. We're oh, celebrating oh, these oh, days. We're conforming to the, to the ways of the oh, heat. The right. whole side has a problem with us. Yeah. He has a problem with our people. That's the reason why we're out there in the ghettos and the slums. That's why we're in single parent households and things like that. That's why our women are killing their babies with abortions at alarming rates. That's right. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear the word of the Lord. Most I said, hear the word of the Lord. That's what our people need to be doing. We flock up in these Christian churches and the word of the Lord does not come out. That's right. The Bible says, hear the word of the Lord. Go ahead. For the Lord has a controversy. Since the Lord has a controversy, who he has a controversy with? Go ahead. With the inhabitants of the land. There's no truth amongst our people. There's no truth in this land at all. What is the truth? Let me get the truth. Psalms 119 verse 142. The Most High said there's no truth. That's why he has a controversy. That's why he has a problem with the people in this land. That's right. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. The righteousness. It's an everlasting righteousness. Because our righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Go ahead. And thy law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. So our righteousness, the law, statutes, and commandments is everlasting. And that is the truth. That's right. Give me another truth. John 17 to 17. John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Most I say, sanctify them through thy truth. That's red letters right there. That's Jesus to Christ, the black Messiah saying that thing. That's right. Says, sanctify them through thy truth. Go ahead. Thy word is truth. The word of God is the truth. So you got the law, statutes, and commandments as well as the word of God is the truth. There's no right. truth in this land. That's why the Most High has a problem with our people. That's right. Hosea. Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 1. That's why we're in the situation that we're in now, the position that we're in now. That's why we're the last hired in the first fight. That's why we're out doing the unemployment lines. Go ahead. Bring it up. Hear the word of the Lord. It says, hear the word of the Lord. You children of Israel. You children of Israel. You are a child of Israel. 
The blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the children of Israel. The, the Most High saying, hear the word of the Lord. This Bible has to be coming out. Go ahead. For the Lord hath a controversy mm -hmm. with the inhabitants of the land. Go ahead. Because there is no truth. There's no truth in the land. We already discussed what the truth was, right? Go ahead. No mercy. There's no mercy. Our people don't have mercy upon one another. We hate each other. We can't stand to see each other doing good. We don't have no mercy on each other. That's why it's quick when Brother Tyrone around the corner steps on your jaw and you go ahead and kill him. There's no mercy. Go ahead. You know, no knowledge of God. There's no knowledge of God. There's no knowledge of God. What is the knowledge of God? Bring it up. Our people don't know who we're serving. You flock up in these Christian churches. You're not serving the, the God of Israel. You're not serving the God of this Bible. Right, right. The word of God is not coming out. Let's get the knowledge. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. What you're going to see here is that everything that the Most High is saying, it all turns back to the law. That's right. The brother brought out earlier, the Bible is a very redundant book. We will show you what the knowledge is. We showed you what the truth was, right? Now let's get the knowledge. For the priest's lips mm -hmm. should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So if anybody's bringing this word of God out, their lips should keep knowledge. Right. Brothers, brothers, y'all got a minute? Y'all brothers got a minute? It's for your salvation, man. You need to hear this thing. Most I say, hear the word of the Lord, man. That's right. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So if you're bringing this word out, that means you should keep knowledge. And what should he keep, man? What should he be teaching? And then should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law mm -hmm. at his mouth. You should be seeking the law at the priest's mouth. Right. When you go to see your church, you should be seeking the law. Yes. Right. That preacher should be telling your women to get up out of your pants and wear a dress. Yes. Your preacher is supposed to be telling you to put on fringes with the borders of blue. Right. Your preacher is supposed to be telling you to wear your big, not shake your head for. That's, right. That's what your preacher is supposed to be telling you to do. And you should be seeking that thing from us. Right. When you see us, you should be asking, well, what's the law on marriage? That's right. How do I conduct myself in a relationship? Yeah. How do I love my brother? That's what you should be asking the priest. Like Hosea 4. That's what you should be acting. Chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Go ahead. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord has a problem with us to this day. He has an issue with us. He has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Go ahead. Because there is no truth. There's no laws. There's no Bible. Go ahead. No mercy. No mercy. We don't have mercy upon one another. Go ahead. No knowledge of God in the land. There's no knowledge of God in this land. None of us know God. None of you. Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are serving God right now. There's no knowledge of God in this land. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. By swearing and lying. By swearing and lying. I love God. I love Jesus. Bring it up. We're swearing and we're lying. To ourselves and to, to each other. Right. Go ahead. And killing. And killing. What are we doing? We kill each other daily. Right. Look at the abortion clinics. Who's filling them things up? Right. We're killing our own kids before they even have a chance to live. Yes. Right. Right. We kill each other on the corner by killing. Go ahead. And by stealing. By stealing. We love to steal. That's what we do as a people. We don't want to acknowledge that thing, though. We don't want to hear that about ourselves. Go ahead. And committing adultery. And committing adultery. The first thing we do is look at another man's wife. That's or look at another woman's husband and want to go sleep with him. Bring it up. Committing adultery. This is why the most has a problem with us. Right. This is why we're smitten right now. Go ahead. They break out. They break out. And blood touches blood. And blood touches blood. We'll be against each other. That's the most high tells us to gather together. But what are we doing? We don't know how to gather together. Get that Zephaniah 2 and 1. The most high commanded us to do something. Bring it up. Come on. 
people on the shirt. Before you get put to death, man. Before the day passes the shell. Before the day passes the chat. It's a fire, man. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the most high decides to pass judgment for all of us that are not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right! I put every single one of you that's not keeping these laws to death. That's you know, right! Say two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. That's right. right. Matter of fact, let's get that. It says two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed because we're going to refuse to do what the Most High tells us to do. He has us in his condition. And he brought us out here to show our people our transgression. Right. So that you can come on in. That's, That's right. right. Chapter 13, verse 8. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass. He says it shall come to pass. Not it might. Not, not maybe. It. Well, he said it shall come to pass. I mean, this thing is going to happen. Go ahead. That in all the land, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. That saith the Lord, two parts therein mm -hmm. shall be cut off and die. He says two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts. I don't want to be part of that two parts. Right. But, but the third, but the third, the third of his people that's going to be keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, go ahead. Shall be left therein. Shall be left therein. Sister, you have to fly in your hand. Do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? Well, come here, let us show you. We're telling you, we're telling all our blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans that you are the children of Israel. How do we know that we're the children of Israel? In Romans 8. How can we stand here today and tell you, and show you, and stand here boldly and tell you that you're, we are the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. It says the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. You listening? You paying attention? So what is the Spirit? When it says the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, what does it say? What does it mean? We get the Spirit. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the Spirit that quickened it. It said it is the Spirit that quickened it. Your Spirit is the one that's going to quicken it. Your Spirit is the one that's going to come to life. Go ahead. The flesh profiteth nothing. The flesh that you have, it profiteth nothing. It's going to die. It's going to go away. Go ahead. The words. That I speak unto you. Stop right there. The words that I speak. Who is that speaking? You know who's speaking right there? He says, the words that I speak unto you. That's red right and that's Jesus to Christ again. He says, the words that I speak unto you is what? The words that I speak unto you, mm -hmm. they are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. They are life. So the words that Christ is speaking, they are spirit. They are life. Go back to Romans 8 and 16. Romans. So basically the spirit, the word of God, this Bible. Is what tells us who we are this day. Go ahead. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. The Spirit bears witness with our spirit. The Spirit, the Word of God, this Bible proves to us. Go ahead. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. That you are the children of God. Let's see what the Spirit said. Give me Zechariah um, 11 and. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh huh? Thus saith the Lord God, feed the flock of the slaughter. This is what we're doing now. We're feeding the flock of the slaughter. We are the flock of the slaughter. The blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we are the ones being slaughtered. Go ahead. That's right. Who's possessor? Stop right there. Who's possessor? We are possessed people. We came over here on slave ships. Correct? We are the possession of our enemies. Go ahead. He says, who's possessors? Who's possessors slay them. Who's possessors slay them. And do what? And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. What people on, in this nation is that happening to? Across the world. Whose possessors slay them. The people that possess them, they kill them. And hold themselves not guilty. What people does that happen to? Does that happen to our people? Who does that happen to? You heard of Mike Brown? No? You heard of Trayvon Martin? You heard of the numerous people that have been killed by our possessors and they get off scot-free? Not guilty? The black man, right? So that, that's in the spirit. That's the Bible. Show us who the children of God is. That's right. Let's get another one. Um, read it again. Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them. And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. That only happens to us. Because we are the possessed people. 
And there's a reason why we're possessed people. And they that sell them, and they that do what? And they that sell them, and they that sell them, have we been sold? We're still being sold to this day. Go ahead. Say, blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. For I am rich. For I am rich. They're rich when they sell us. Go ahead. And their own shepherds mm. pity them not. Our own shepherds pity us not. Who are our shepherds? Our black leaders. Right. Your T.D. Jakes. You think he pities us? Bring it on up. I'm asking. Your truckload of dollars. You think that they pity us? As we get killed in the streets, what do they do? They tell us to keep quiet. Join hand in hand with them. Right. right. Why? Because they get paid off that thing. Right. 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 Get out Michael 3 and 11. That's what's going on right now. Our pastors, that's what they're doing. They're doing things for pay, for sis. Matter of fact, hold up. We have to deal with you though. Do you believe that you're an Israelite? He that believeth in the Lord is going to take heed to the commandments of God. That's He's going right. to do that thing. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a commandment right now that you're breaking, sis. We're going to show it to you. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You heard that? It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So all of you Israelite women, sis, up there on the balcony, excuse me, on your cell phone. You need this law as well, man. This is what we're bringing out. It says the priest's lips should keep knowledge and you should seek the law at his mouth so that you can correct your ways. So listen to this. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman, the woman shall not, shall not, you shall not do what? Wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's gun. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, so we shouldn't see men wearing dresses. So what are women wearing today that pertains unto a man? Pants? What about you? Pants, right? So the Most High says that you're not supposed to be doing that. What does the Most High call a woman in pants? For all that do so. All that do so, that means you and you and every other black, Hispanic, and Native American woman that's doing it is what? Our abomination. The Most High is calling you an abomination right now. Yes. Because you're wearing pants. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. How does the Most High feel about abominations? This is what we got to bring out. I mean, you might not want to hear this thing. But this is the correction that you need in order to get yourself together. So you can have right to that tree of life. Yes. Make it into the king. That's right. So up. Uh, Chapter 15, verse 13. This is how the Most High feels about you right now that's wearing pants. Go ahead. The Lord hateth all abominations. So the Most High does what? The Lord hateth all abominations. So the Lord hateth all abominations. And they that fear God. They that do what? Fear God. Uh -huh. Love it not. That means they that fear God love it not. So do you love wearing pants? You said you believe in God. Sis. Up there, both of you, do you love you love wearing pants? You love your pants? That means that you don't love God. That's right. And God hates you. And God has a judgment for you wearing pants. Do you understand that? Yeah. What's the judgment? What's the judgment of you wearing pants? Do you love your life? Yeah. I'm asking. I do. And you fear God. So you don't, you don't fear God. You should fear God. God is the one that has us in this situation now. Yes, God is the one that put our people on them slave ships stacked up like sardines. Right. He's the one doing that. He's the one killing our people in these streets. Right. Bring it up. God is the one that had our women raped by these slave masters. Wow. Do you understand that? Wow. Huh? Why? Because they sinned against the Most High. That's why. Huh? we're in. 
We do the round of 28 and 15. We're gonna show you why we're in the state that we're in. Why we're destroyed people to this day. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to God. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do all of his commandments. Not some of his commandments. Not just the ones that you feel comfortable doing. He right. says all of his commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes. And his statutes. Go ahead. Which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let's get on. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The most I said, cursed shall we be in the city. Who is the cursed people in the city today? Who are in the ghettos and the slums of the city? If you go to any neighborhood that's run down or that's filled with crime and filled with all type of madness, Black what man. people are living in that city? Black man. Yeah. Right. Okay, go ahead. And cursed shall thou be in the field. We were cursed in the fields. We were cursed in the cotton fields. We were cursed in the tobacco fields through slavery. Go ahead. Cursed shall be thy basket. Cursed shall be our basket. Go ahead. And thy store. That's going into black owned businesses. Israelite owned businesses. Basically our baskets and our store is going to be cursed. None of our business as a nation, as a whole is going to profit. That's part of our curse. That's why when you see a black person open up a business, it goes out of business in a month or two. Or even in a year, it doesn't matter. Our businesses will not profit. Right. 28. Where's 28? Mm -hmm. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Our people are smitten with madness right now. We're out here literally crazy. Go ahead. And blindness. And blindness. We're walking around here blind, not knowing who we are. Right. Not knowing who our God is. We're completely blind to the fact of what's going on. We, we're happy with the fact of calling ourselves black. Right. We're black and we're proud, right? You're an American. You're an African American. You're blind. Go ahead. The Lord shall smite thee with madness mm -hmm. and blindness mm -hmm. and astonishment of heart. And astonishment of heart. Go ahead. And thou shalt grope at noonday. He says we shall grope at noonday. That's what our people are doing today. We're groping at noonday. It's broad daylight. And we're all in the Christian church. We're all in the Muslim mosques. We're groping at noonday. What are we groping for? Isaiah 59. What are we groping for? Black Lives Matter. Egyptology. All this stuff our people are groping for. Why? Because we're completely lost. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 10. Mm -hmm. We grope for the wall like the blind. Mosiah said we grope for the wall like the blind. When a blind man, you put, you put blind folks over your eyes. And they stick you in the middle of the room. You go grope. You grope for what? You grope for some type of, um, some type of, what you call it? Some type of stability. You groping for the wall. Go ahead. And we grope as if we had no eyes. If we have no eyes, we act like we can't see what's going on with our people. Right. That's right. We act like we can't see what's going on. Go ahead. We stumble at noonday. We stumble. Everything that we grope for, we start stumbling on. Because we grope for the world like the blind. So we stumble at noonday. Go ahead. Nah. As in the night. As in the night. So it might as well be pitch black right now for our people. We don't know what's going on. Go ahead. We are in desolate places. We are in desolate places. We are in dead places. We are in the land of the dead. Go ahead. Right. As dead men. We are in the we are in desolate places as dead men. What makes you dead? We brought it out earlier in the beginning. What makes us a dead people? Do you think our people are living? Excuse me. Do you think our people are living today? This is not living what we're doing now. This is not. And this is why. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. Proverbs. Bring it out. The man that wandereth out of the way of like, understanding. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain mm -hmm. in the congregation of the dead. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's why we're living in desolate places as dead men. Because we wandered out of the way of the Most High's understanding. Get understanding. Do it before and six. Because we wandered out of the Most High's way of understanding. We're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. 
That's why we're in the name of the dead. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Keep therefore and do this. It says, Keep therefore and do the commandments. Go ahead. For this is your wisdom. This is your wisdom. That's how you become wise, by doing the most high law. Right. Brother, you need to hear this. Go ahead. For this no. is your wisdom. Keeping the most high law, that's the commandments. Is your wisdom and your understanding. And your understanding. If you wander out of the way of understanding, you're in the congregation of the dead. That's right. They make TV shows about us. And we sit there, sit down, and love that thing. Right. We're the dead. Go ahead. Y'all hear me? In the sight of the nation. In the sight of the nation. This is our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nation. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statues. When the nations hear all these statues, when these Edomites and all of our enemies hear these statues, go ahead. And say, surely this is a great nation. Surely this great nation. So when we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, the other nations are going to look at us like we're great. Right now they don't look at us like a great nation. Because we're not keeping the law. We're walking around with our pants below our behinds. We're not taking care of our kids. Our women sitting down wearing pants. Word of God coming out, she on the cell phone, we care less. You buying and selling on the Sabbath. And to the other nations, they look at you like you're ignorant as hell. Right. You have no wisdom. You have no understanding. Go ahead. Sure, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. She's going to say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. That's why they look at us and they say, oh, this nigga here. But look at her. She's a black, loudmouth woman. She don't take care of her kids. She don't even know how to keep a man. Bring because it you have no wisdom and no understanding. You're not That's walking right. by these laws, statutes, and commandments of God. That's right. For what nation is there so great? What nation is there so great? We're a great nation. Go ahead. Who have God so nigh unto them. We have God so near unto us. We don't even think about that thing. Go ahead. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. As the Lord our God is in all things that, that we call him for. The Most High calls us a special people. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Most High says we are a holy people. But we're not conducting ourselves as that, man. We have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Go ahead. Right. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. The Most High has chosen us. He's chosen you. Black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man and woman. Go ahead. To be a special people. To be a special people. You're special unto God. Go ahead. Unto himself. Mm -hmm. Above all people. Above all people. We're supposed to be above all people. Not below. Right now we're at the bottom. Why? Why are we at the bottom? Finish that Above all people. Because above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. So we're meant to be above all people that are upon the face of this earth. That's right. That's how we were set up. That's what we're supposed to be. But we're not. Because we refuse to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God and repent. That's right. We refuse to repent. Are you going to go home today and get dressed, get rid of your pants? We'll see. We'll see. A lot of people, we refuse to repent. You're bringing this out. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old. Both sides telling us to remember the days of old. What were the days of old? The slavery was the days of old. We're supposed to remember that thing. Go ahead. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the years of many generations. That's what we're doing now. We're considering the years of many generations. We're considering the years of King David, King Solomon. We're considering the years of just our foreparents here a few hundred years ago. They came over on these slave ships. We are not supposed to forget about slavery. Sis, do you know that slave ships is in the Bible? You didn't know that? All right, we're going to show you that. We're about to show you that your slavery and your captivity is in this Bible. Again, the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Right. That's right. So this is what the Spirit is telling us about how we got here in this land. We must take heed to this thing. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Most High said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now what is Egypt? 
We're going to get the understanding on Egypt real quick. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thy God. Go ahead. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Slavery. That's what Egypt means. So go back to Deuteronomy 28 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord shall bring thee into bondage, into slavery. Go ahead. Again. Again. A second time. With ships. With ships. Yes. Who came over into slavery and ships? What nation of people went into captivity in ships? Go ahead. How did we get over here? In ships, how did we get over here in this country? In slave ships, right? This is over there. How did we get over here in this country? To America. In slave ships. So the Most High is telling us this is prophecy right here. This is how we got here. This book is written about you. We'll read it back to the top. And the Lord. And God is going to. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee mm -hmm. into Egypt. The Lord is going to bring us into slavery again. Again. With ships. With slave ships. That's right. No other nation can relate to that thing right there. That's right. No other nation. Go ahead. By the way, world, I spake unto thee. By the way, God spoke unto thee. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see our homeland, Jerusalem, no more again. Go ahead. And there, and there, in that land, in this land here, that we were brought over on slave ships. Go ahead. Ye shall be sold. We shall be what? Sold. What people? Were we not sold? Were we sold, brother? Were we sold? Sis, were we sold? Go ahead, he said, we shall be sold. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold mm -hmm. unto your enemies. No, your friend. Your enemies. Your enemies. The person that sold us are our enemies. That's right. The people right. in this land today are our enemies. That's right. right. But we sitting there learning to love it. We sitting there joining hand in hand with our enemies. Dealing with this disgusting holiday today. And every other holiday that they had. We love our enemies. Go ahead. And there we shall be sold. In this land we shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto our enemies, the people that hate our guts, that can't stand us. Go ahead. For bond men. For slave men and bond women. And slave women. That's what happened to us. Yes, that's right. That's, that's right. why we're over here now. Go ahead. Brooke. And no man, no man shall buy us. Shall buy us. That buy you is a Quaker word. So Quaker word for redeem, meaning to say, no man is going to get us out of this captivity here. Right, Only right. one person is going to get us out, and that's Jesus Christ, the Black Messiah. That's that's right. Right. Statutes and commandments. That's no right. Man, Martin Luther King couldn't get us out. He got popped, and his whole movement was gone. That's right. Malcolm X couldn't get us out. He got popped, and that that's whole right. Going nation of Islam is madness now. That's right. right. No man is going to save us from this captivity here. That's we right. must keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's, that's right. right. That's the God. Bring it's the only thing that's going to get us out of this thing. That's right. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.